packing in all the functionality of a traditional digital drum sequencer, while staying true to GarageBand's pick up and play approach to its touch instrument interface. The beat sequencer is not only a powerful way to build a rhythm track, it's also really great fun to use. In typical GarageBand style, it's incredibly easy to dive in and create some interesting and usable sounds right away. Scratch below the surface, however, and you'll find some robust customization options available. Hey, it's Patrick. In this video, I'm going to take a closer look at GarageBand's beat sequencer, and by the end of the video, hopefully convince you that not only is it one of the best options for building rhythm tracks in GarageBand, but also on the whole iOS platform. You'll find the beat sequencer tucked away in the drum section of the sound browser. It will load up a blank pattern when you first open it up, and you have a few ways that you can get started. You can dive right in and start building your pattern by tapping on any of these steps. Each row corresponds to a different part of your virtual kit, and it's really easy to get a good groove going quickly. Each row has its own mini track header that you can slide out using the Wii handles. In these mini track headers, you can solo or mute individual rows. Tapping on a rows icon opens this menu where you can change the assigned part of the selected kit. Change the step length for that row. And change the playback mode for that row from forward to reverse, ping pong, or random. You can also randomize the selected row here or reset and delete completely if you wish. Before we go any further, if you're finding this video helpful, then please give that like button a little. I really appreciate it. Down at the bottom of the screen, tap this icon and you can select from dozens of pattern presets. You can also save your custom patterns here, allowing you to use them across multiple projects. You can change the sound of the currently selected kit by tapping the button at the bottom left here. There are tons of different kits and styles to choose from here, plus you can add new ones by downloading content from GarageBand iOS's sound library. There's a randomizer button here too. And you can access info and settings for your current pattern by tapping the eye icon. You can set the length of your pattern to 16, 32, 48 or 64 steps, which gives you the freedom to add lots of variation to your beat sequencer's rhythm track. For each 16 steps that you add onto the sequence, a wee window will be added to the top of the sequencer so that you can keep track. You can change the length of your pattern steps here as well as the playback mode and amount of swing added.
all that's great and is more than enough to get you started with the beat sequencer. There are, however, some more in depth controls that I want to talk about just now. All right, you can fine tune the sound of individual steps here. Tapping the velocity button allows you to adjust the, you guessed it, velocity of your steps. Tapping and holding here expands the step and gives you more fine control. You can have a note repeat itself within a single step, tap the note repeat button and then slide up or down on a step to increase or decrease the number of repeats. Again, holding on a step expands it allowing for more precise editing. The chance setting allows you to set a step to play back only a set percentage of the time. So if you want a snare hit to only play now and again, tap and slide down on the step to decrease the percentage of times it will play back in a sequence. The loop start end setting allows you to trim the length of a rose pattern, which can result in some interesting and unique rhythms. The beat sequencer isn't just good at creating rhythm sections for dance floor filling bangers. It also does acoustic drums really, really well. And the level of customization available to you means that you can create some really natural sounding dynamic drum patterns. Having said that, it also does the dance floor filling banger thing really well. Now that you know just how good GarageBand's Beat Sequencer is, what if I told you that one of the best synths on iOS was 100% free and that you probably already have it installed on your device? Watch this video next to find out more.